YouTube, welcome back to your girl's channel. My name is Julia, and if you're new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're not new here, gang gang, welcome back to your girl's channel. So today's video is basically going to be a what's in my bag, and I'm going to be showing you what my bag is, and of course, what's inside of it. So if you're interested, let's jump right in. The thing that I'm going to start with is showing you guys the bag, of course. So this is my bag. It's Nine West. I got it at Marshall's for $29.99. Now let me tell you, I was sleeping on Marshall's, okay? I went in there one time to look and I saw this bag and I was like, Julia, you don't need that. I came home and mind you, it's like a 30, 45 minute drive. And I told my parents, I was like, I love that bag. I should have got that bag. And they were like, do you want it? And I was like, yeah. So we just took the trip and we had a few other things to do anyway. So I just went back in, grabbed the bag and here we are. They had another like color thing, color scheme. I want to call it a colorway because I'm a sneaker person, but I know that's not what it's called in the first world. So they had like another color scheme and it was like brown and black, but that was too basic for me. So I opted for like the blue and the gray and it's super cute. So as you can tell, it can be held like a handbag, which is cute, but I look 12. I walk in the store like this. They gonna like who's daughter? And I'll be like, I don't know. But it can also be used as a crossbody, which is super cute because I love crossbodies. So this is what I typically wear it as. I just throw it right over my shoulder or across my body. But over the shoulder is super cute too. So this purse is very spacious. And I actually love that because I'm actually like a coach girl. But the only purse that I have from coach is like the Sierra satchel. That's super cute, but it has one zipper pocket and that's it. This bag has two pockets on the outside with no no zipper and then it has the zipper pocket space okay this thing has space and for $30 you literally cannot beat it don't mind my nails I broke it chasing my dog I'm this is only my second time having acrylic too so I was like freaking out and then I have a party coming up so you know I was trying to get myself together before I had a breakdown and when I tell you this process was super long super long that's why i don't get it done because it's the second time i had it done the first time and it took me like an out maybe two three hours for my feet and my hands and they weren't even as long as this the first time but i actually got these done for prom and they're super cute like yellow and clear can't really tell but yeah back to the bag super spacious i literally love the outside and also this was like a plus for me i am we're gonna say five foot but i'm barely five foot so some purses come too long especially when they're not adjustable which is kind of like a deterrent for short people to buy purses short people you know what i'm talking about this one is super adjustable and it's like literally the right length on my body for it to be a crossbody so let's jump in to the inside so of course when you unzip it you see the junk that i have inside but you see it has like a zipper pocket it also has like an open pocket kind of like the outside pockets where you don't have a zipper or anything let's 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 get into this <laughs> so the first thing that i see is a receipt and i'm pretty sure this is a chick-fil-a receipt and it's not a woman's purse if she doesn't have random receipts or random papers thrown inside of it so yeah the next thing i see is my mask it's just a black mask corona is still a thing i have asthma so i'm super precautious about you know the things i do and how i do it so i try to stay safe with my mask even though you couldn't see it because my curtains are black but that's okay the next thing is my wallet. This is just a coach wallet. Like I was telling you guys, I'm very much a coach girl. My mom is a coach girl, so I'm a coach girl. So she kind of got me started on this wave. I don't know what exactly what it's called. I'll have it on the screen, like from the actual coach website. And I'm pretty sure it's like the small trifold wallet or something. Super cute. Backstory behind the wallet. I wanted a smaller wallet for school for my senior year, of course, even though it's done but just had to throw that there. <laughs> I wanted a smaller wallet that I could actually just throw in my book bag, you know, cause I am driving to school and stuff now. So I don't need a super big wallet because I have to put it in my book bag and carry it with me all day just in case. So, and you're probably asking, well, why didn't you do this sooner? COVID was a thing. So my 10th and 11th grade years when I would have been able to drive to school, I never drove to school. So the only year that I drove was my senior year and I was only there for like five hours. Five and a half hours basically i was only at school for five and a half hours instead of i think it's eight that regular people say because my school day was cut short because a 
of my special experience. If you want a story time on that, let me know. But yeah, back to the wallet. Just a simple coach wallet. Trifold so you can put your bills in it. This side where my hand is has my ID, so that's why I'm covering it up. But you have two pockets where you can put cards. And then, of course, like a compartment where you can put cash. I have more receipts in there. And then another compartment where you can put coins. I usually don't use coins, but I'm starting to learn that every coin counts, basically. I feel like when I try to count change, when anyone tries to count change, I feel like they get super nervous of the people behind them like you're holding them up. And that's very true because you're like trying to find the exact amount. So I kind of freak out. Not freak out, but like I just don't like to hold people up. So I'd rather give them an extra dollar bill or like have them give me the change back. But I know, and don't take that the wrong way because if I need to count change, I'm going to count change. But I just don't like to hold people up because I know sometimes when you go in a store, you want to get in and out. And if you have that annoying person in front of you trying to count 97 cents, 97 cents in coins instead of just giving me extra dollar that's kind of annoying so that's what plays in my mind so that's why i typically don't use coins but i should i definitely should the next thing is hand sanitizer like i said people are germy people are germy period so we have a nice little cute bottle of Purell. The next thing is gum. I don't have a preference. I use any type of gum. Typically, it's not over a dollar because that's ridiculous. But this is what I have in my purse at the moment. It's just five Spearmint Rain. I didn't even know what it's called. I have like four other packs of Orbit and Trident on my nightstand. So what the heck. The next thing are my AirPods. Literally cannot live without these. I love my AirPods. <laughs> I look so creepy. <laughs> but yeah, I love my AirPods. Literally take them everywhere. I could just be going to the store. I'm taking my AirPods. I might not need to talk to nobody. I might not need to listen to music. I'm taking my AirPods because you never know. And I'm always calling my mom in the store. Like, if she sends me to get something, I'm calling her because I want to make sure that I'm getting the right thing so I don't get in trouble. But yeah, just regular Schmegler AirPods. I'm pretty sure this is like the second generation charging in case anybody cared. But yeah, cute little coach case. Like I said, I'm a coach girl. <laughs> I'm not doing this in any specific order if anybody is like oh that's more important it's definitely not it's just how i'm pulling it out of my bag the next thing is a pencil and a pen now i'm kind of being hypocritical because i don't have paper in here but i need to find like a cute little notepad that i can just throw in the bag and go because you never know what you're going to need to write down or take notes about you never know who you're going to meet never know you're gonna meet but we have our phones and we're kind of relying on that but pen and paper because you never know like your battery could die and then what are you gonna do pen and pencil but yeah so i just have a regular mechanical pencil this is paper mate i'm pretty sure i like wooden pencils but obviously i can't carry a wooden pencil in my purse because then i would have to carry a sharpener for when the point breaks but y'all get where i'm going i personally like wooden pencils though specifically ticonderoga pencils I don't know what they look like there's a picture right here and then this is just a regular blue pen paper mate ink joy these are pretty good i'm a pen connoisseur so send me good pen recommendations because i'm down to try pens i literally love pens the next thing is clear lip gloss i literally love this I don't use it all the time, but just in case, you know, it's always in there because you never know when you want to, you know, give a little gloss, a little pop, okay? Period. I know I wear a mask, but these lips still gonna be moisturized and popping up under that mask. Best believe that, okay? Yeah, I seen the memes. I seen the memes where y'all were talking about people for putting on chapstick before they put their mask on. You just want them to have dry lips? That's not how that works. But okay. So I keep my clear gloss on deck because you never know. The next thing is this Vaseline Advanced Healing Lip Therapy stuff. It's just Vaseline in the tube. Simple as that. It's just Vaseline, good old Vaseline, clear Vaseline. <laughs> Why did I say it so many times? <laughs> It's just clear Vaseline in a tube. I used to carry around like the, the small version of the Vaseline. Y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about, which y'all probably do. There's a picture right here because I suck at explaining things. I used to carry that around, but I hated putting my finger in it to put it on my lips because your hands are, I'm going to say always dirty because they literally always are. And even if you use hand sanitizer, that still gives me like it still freaks me out. So yeah, my mom found this and I use it literally all the time. I think it's at Target for like $3.49 for like a, a double pack. So I think that's a steal. I love it. Highly recommend. Sponsor me, please. I'm just kidding. Maybe not. <laughs> When I tell y'all I love lip care, I love lip care. So, of course, we have something else in the purse to keep the lips popping. Because they always got to be popping. Carmax. Carmax. Did I say Carmax? I've been calling it Carmax this whole time. And it's C-A-R-M-E-X. 
Parmex. What does that even mean? I've probably seen that before and never paid it any attention. That's wild. What does that mean? <laughs> This is Carmex with an EX, Carmex, in Fresh Cherry. They don't sell this in a single pack. Like, I literally had to buy, or maybe my mom bought it. I think my mom bought it. She bought it like a three pack for me and gave me the Fresh Cherry because they don't sell it on its own. They used to, like when I was younger, they used to sell it on its own. But now you have to buy it in a three pack, do whatever you want with the rest of them. Like, can we just bring back regular, sell it on its own, please? So I can save some coins. Because I love saving coins, even though I don't spend them. <laughs> Let me stop being goofy and get to the rest of this video. <laughs> but yeah, fresh cherry, because like I said, your lips always have to be moisturized. They need to be moisturized. The next thing, so you're not ashy. Even though my hands are ashy a lot of the times, because I'm too lazy to put this on, you need this. Dove Intense, I almost called it nourishing. Dove Intensive Cream. This stuff is so creamy. Like I said in previous videos, I am from PA. So we get all four seasons and in the winter time, you could be lotioning up your body, be smooth, glowy, cute. Right before you leave the house, as soon as you walk outside the house, it's like you get ashy all over again, especially your hands. So this stuff comes in handy. In ninth grade is when I really start using this stuff. And you can get it right at the Dollar Tree. Because as soon as I get it, I used to... Blah, 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 blah. I used to have to walk to my bus stop and like I said I live in PA so it gets like cold here so as soon as I got on the bus I would put this on and child when I tell you I wouldn't be like ashy for the rest of the day that's an exaggeration because I will wash my hands and I will get ashy again you should wash your hands too if you don't even if you do pause this video and go wash them this stuff takes away the ash right at the Dollar Tree Dollar 25 tree I hate that. The Dollar Tree is like my favorite store. Used to be. But now I go in there and buy two things and now it's $3. Maybe I can't do my math. That's two fifty. Now it's two fifty. But basically it's three dollars. But go get you some. It's worth it. And I'm not I'm not just like saying this for the video either. Like y'all see, I use this stuff and I have them all over the place. Same thing with lip stuff. Not just in my purse, it's in my book bag. It's on my desk right before I leave the house. You no, know, you gotta gotta be moisturized. Hands, lips, face, body. Gotta be moisturized. I use the Dove Intensive Cream. So yeah, go get you some. I love it. And the last and final thing is a charger. You need a charger. Like I said, I'm moving around more and more now, alone, by myself, in my car, you know? And I usually depend on my mom, because she be having her big purse. And y'all know what I'm talking about. The moms with the purses, with everything in them, from tissues, to lotion, to baby oil, to everything. She has everything in her purse. But I have to be more responsible and start taking my own charger when I'm out by myself, because you never know when your battery might die. Plus, I listen to music in my car, so I need my phone at all times period so yeah this is just a cute little apple charger so that is all for what's in my bag it's not much but it's not too little either like i feel like it's just enough to get the job done for a purse you know yeah because i don't i don't feel like i need a lot like i don't even like carrying a purse sometimes like that's just too much but if i don't bring my purse like i'll find myself out like dang my lips are chat or i need some hand sanitizer because i just touched something sticky or my hands is ashy but i don't have no lotion step up your game julia you need your own get your own so here we are with my own purse doing a what's in my purse video okay <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below some video suggestions what you thought of this video and don't forget to subscribe because i want to see more y'all and y'all probably want to see more of me but if not it's okay that's okay thank you for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next one peace